Hey everyone, I'm building an entire first-person shooter game from scratch in the Gato engine and documenting the progress with these tutorials. In this video, we're adding animations to our jumping state for when we jump and when we land. The basic FPS controller project from episode one is available for free on GitHub. And if you would like to use the written version of this tutorial or download all of the source files, you can get access by joining my Patreon. Let's dive in. We're going to try and emulate the camera movement from the Titanfall 2 jump. In the example, you can see there is some slight vertical rotation when the player initiates the jump and when they hit the ground. We can get something close to this effect by adjusting two properties of our camera setup, the camera controller X rotation and the Y position of our camera. And we'll create this effect by adding two more short animations to our animation player node. To create our jump animations, we'll need two more animations added to our animation player. Jump start for when we initiate our jump and jump end for when we hit the ground. The nature of these animations is really entirely up to you in terms of how much movement, speed, etc. Here's what I've come up with for this example. For the jump start animation, I'm animating the X rotation and the position of the camera. If we ever rotate the camera itself, we really need to do it in the controller because the actual camera rotation is always controlled by the mouse. Position can be done either with the controller parent node or the camera. I'm opting for the controller because I don't need zero centric movement like we did with our head bobbing. In this case, we can just reduce our vertical position and return it to 1.5. I've got keyframes at zero, 0 0.2, and 0 0.55 seconds. The X rotation will go from zero, negative 0 0.015, and then back to zero. The curves look like this. For my position, we're gonna bring it down slightly as if we're prepping our jump. I'm going with 1.5 meters, to 1.45 meters back to 1.5 meters. The animation itself will only run once and not autoplay. Then we add another animation for our jump end. This will operate the same way, except the downward action will happen a bit earlier. I've got keyframes at zero, 0 0.085 and 0 0.4 seconds. The X rotation goes from zero, negative 0 0.024 and then back to zero. Then the position goes from 1.5 to 1.45 and back to 1.5. With our animations ready, we just need to call them in our script. Within our jump scripts, we're going to replace our pause animation line with a play animation line for our jump start animation. So as soon as we enter our jump start after pressing our jump key, we play our jump start animation. Then once we hit the floor again, we then run our jump end animation and transition to idle as we normally do. We do have one issue to address though, and that's when we transition to our idle animation, we are pausing any and all animations. So our jump in animation won't actually play. We could use an await line to wait until the animation finished before we transition to idle, but that brings in new bugs. My solution is to simply check in our idle state if an animation is playing when we enter. And if that animation is the jump end animation, then we wait till it finishes and then pause. If nothing is playing, we can force a pause like before. This allows the jump end animation to finish, but we also have full control to walk, crouch, and jump immediately because we're still transitioning to our idle state and not sitting in our jump state, waiting. The same technique can also be applied to our walking and sprinting states. Additionally, you can also set the blend durations between our jump end animation and other animations in case there is any overlap. And with our new animations and new script changes, you should have a jumping animation to add some weight to our jumping movement. All right, guys, if this tutorial was helpful, consider a like and subscribe to the channel as we're gonna be covering a lot more. Thanks to all of my patrons who keep this series going. You too can get access to the project source files by joining my Patreon. You can download everything there and you'll also get early access to my videos and sneak peeks at future tutorials. Thanks for watching, and as always, keep creating.